Welcome back in. Great to have you along on WKYT. All right, he is Korean with uh, an East Tennessee drawl. His show is hilarious, but it's clean, and you'll find him in local comedy clubs around the country and on the Grand Ole Opry. And we are happy to welcome comedian Henry Cho to the Bluegrass. Thanks for having Thanks me. For, well, we're glad you're here. Good old Southern boy. Hey, Grand Ole Opry. Man, that's <laughs> so much fun. Is, I bet it is. It's, yes. They are so good to me because, uh, you know, they actually let me come on whenever I'm available, and so uh, I always become available when my buddies right. and super famous music pals are on. Exactly. So it's, and, you know, it's the Grand Ole Opry. I and mean, what a great audience. I, I, oh. I know that they love you there. Well, it's, it, they are great, and they've been very gracious, uh, the audiences and the host staff and everybody. And, uh, you know, the cool thing is, you know, when we do the rhyming, which is during the winter months, I mean, you know, I, I walk out, every time I walk on that stage, I just go, man, you know, Elvis. You think about that, yeah. Walk yeah. Out here. And backstage, there's pictures of Elvis on, you know, they're on a couch like this, Johnny Cash and Elvis and uh, Mac Davis when they were kids. I mean, they're like 19 years old in these pictures, so it's really cool. Yeah. Well, people have, do they know how to take you, you know, when, you, when they first see you, it's like... Uh... They still, still, you <laughs> think after a while, there might be more than one of us, but I'm still it. <laughs> so, yeah, it still throws people off. <laughs> and, you know, my accents change. You know, when I first start, I, I had to start enunciating in uh, the <laughs> mid-90s because I, my, I uh, was hosting Friday Night Videos, and my first video I introduced was Air Smith with Steven Tyler. <laughs> And uh, the producer came out of the booth going, I can't understand a word you're saying. You got to move your that? mouth. Yeah. So it became Aerosmith and Steven Tyler. Yeah. So I had to come, uh, my, my accent had to evolve to uh, be uh, understandable, basically. But you never lose that essence of, of being a Southern boy. No, no, no. You know, I came from uh, East Tennessee. I used to talk like this. You know, I used to have a real thick accent. And then it's evolved to this, which most people think is like East Texas. So. Uh, it is what it is. You always make a point that your show is uh, is clean. It's it's good fun. Right? Yeah, yeah I, you know, 100 percent clean. I've been doing this 30 years now. Yeah. So I've never cussed on stage in 30 years. And and the true fact is, you know, I'm a Christian. Uh, so it's it's not who I am. But now I'm uh, I'm a comedian who's a Christian. I'm not a Christian comedian because they're not funny. <laughs> <laughs> you want to well, make sure. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> They're funny, but in the right context. I mean, in the right atmosphere. What will be some of the things so, you'll but, be uh, talking but, about on the stage out there? Oh, you know, I don't know. It's, uh, you know, it's a political season. It's kind of weird. You know, I, I really can't believe Trump's made it this far. I mean, really? I mean, like, people, it's not a reality show, okay? This is, uh, this is true, true life, that he may run our country if you guys don't stop, okay? <laughs> But, uh, you, know, you know, Trump, at least he says what he wants, but I got to tell you, I stayed in the Trump Hotel one time. It's no fun because they make you use his shampoo. Your hair looks like his for three days. <laughs> I would love that view of you. That would be very entertaining. <laughs> Join the fun out at Comedy Golf Broadway, and Henry Cho will be on the stage tonight and tomorrow night, 715 and 945, 271 Joke for more info. Thanks for coming. Hey, Always thanks for having me. Happy to see you. Happy to see you. Appreciate it.